This is a comparison between the stock rotor. Uh, well, I'm, I'm testing the 1151. Uh, this is not the stock rotor. 1151 is a 12 millimeter uh, rotor that Trinity offers for the X Factor. Gauss is approximately 1750, so 1750 Gauss. Uh, now, the stock is, uh, the number is 1119. That is a 12.5 millimeter. Uh, that's the diameter of the rotor, and the Gauss is about uh, seven, uh, 1,700, so 1,700. So the Gauss is approximately the same, but you do have 0.5 less uh, in terms of the diameter. Now, it's really the radius that you care about, so 0.25 in the radius because torque is force times lever arm. Uh, so if you think of the Gauss as the magnetic force, well, you don't have to think about it, that's what it is, uh, you can try to figure out the force difference. Uh, so just multiply the diameter times the Gauss, do for the other one, and then uh, divide the new by the old, and then divide everything, sorry, Take the new minus the old, divided by the old, and then multiply it by 100%, and you'll get the percent difference. Uh, there, so when it comes to brushless motors, and I've said this in other videos, when you go, when you keep the same Gauss and you go a smaller diameter, you're going to increase the kV because it's going to be easier to spin the motor. Now, if you increase the diameter, you're going to have less kV. Now, a lot of people talk about how you reduce the gap between the rotor and the stator, and decreasing that air gap gives you more torque, uh, but it'll give you less kV. Uh, and yes, but I, I just think about it this way. You're increasing the rotor diameter or the rotor radius, so it's a longer lever arm. So torque is force times the lever arm. Uh, that's another way of thinking about it. But yes, when it comes to the magnetic field, the less of a gap, the stronger it's going to be. So that's the benefit of maybe keeping the stock over this one. But there is a significant KV difference, so that means that uh, you could make up for gearing, since overall, at around 4 amps, you're looking at about 300 KV more for this particular rotor. Uh, so this is why it all depends on tuning. You really just have to test. Here I'm just giving you numbers. Uh, you have to decide what application this is going to go into. Now, uh, if you have the same exact rotor, say a 12.5, the one with higher KV probably has less Gauss. So it's probably not as strong. That's something else to keep in mind. That's usually what happens when you overheat a magnet and it loses some of its magnetism, some of its magnetism. But right now we're just comparing two different rotors, and I do have the table that I'm going to show you uh, with the comparison. And I had also done a test uh, with an 11.5 uh, rotor that Trinity offers as well. So there you'll be able to see all of the results. Uh, this particular rotor has a surprise jump. Once you go from 49 to 54 degrees of timing, it really jumps in when it comes to the amp consumption. So sweet spot for this one, probably 49, 50, 51 degrees, somewhere around there. After that, uh, your amperage is just going to soar through the roof. So that is something else to consider. The 17.5 motor with the stock uh, rotor, this would be the 1119. That's a 12.5 millimeter. It's about uh, 1,700 Gauss. Uh, so this is the information of the original rotor. Now keep in mind that not all two rotors are exactly the same. Not all two motors are exactly the same. Uh, but uh, here are the timings. So this is the one that I just compared. This is a previous one that I had compared. This is the 1150 
i11.1. So you can get an idea. This one's much higher RPM, but then again, you do have a uh, smaller diameter, which means you're gonna have less torque, but it does accelerate uh, nicely. It does have high RPM. So maybe for something that's light and you need the RPM, go with this one. If you want more torque, consider the 12 or the or just keep the stock. Uh, but if we look at KVs, there is uh, a large difference in KVs. Now, uh, generally set it at 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Uh, and that's what I do for all of them. Uh, so it's interesting how the timing changes depending on the rotor. Uh, but uh, if we just look at this four amps right here. Uh, notice just that five amp, sorry, that five degree difference in timing. Look at the consumption. It is massive, the, the difference is massive. So I'm gonna go uh, with four. So really, when you're tuning, you wanna go maybe 51, possibly. If you can try to get that 50 average, that would be great. Uh, but here we go, four amps, this is really the best. So 3,333. Uh, you don't want to go here, not for a race. You're going to burn up the motor. You're going to overheat it. That's too much amperage. Uh, but if we compare it to, say, this 3.2, you know, not bad. This is not bad. 5.5, uh, this one with the fan, you can probably keep it cool. This one's going to have significantly more RPM. Uh, and you can make up with the for the torque in gearing. So it really depends on the application. You really have to play with the gearing. Uh, something light, maybe this rotor, something a little heavier, this rotor. So if you're running you know, something that's um, 1,300 grams, maybe go with this one. 1,400 grams, maybe go with this one. Uh, it really depends. Again, you're going to have to make up uh, for torque with gearing. Uh, but uh, if we compare it to the stock, this is approximately 4 or 3.9. We're looking at 3000 kV. So there is a significant difference and the Gauss is very similar. So the difference is going to be that 0.5. Uh, so if we just did, uh, if we took the radius and then multiplied it by this, this is, think about this as the magnetic force. So if torque is force times the lever arm, uh, divide this in half, That'll give you the radius, and then multiply it by this, and then divide this in half, and multiply it by this. You're going to see that uh, there really isn't that much difference. Uh, so here it really is up to you. Uh, if we were comparing it maybe to a 12.5 with 1,800 Gauss, I would probably go with that one instead. But between these two, this 12 millimeter is probably a better choice. Again, it's going to depend on your application. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was entertaining and informative, or at least entertaining. Uh, please subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you in the next one.